What's up guys? Uh, a little bit different video today again. Dropped a CPFM video last week. If you guys haven't seen that already, go check it out. Also go check out Foley at the shop. Um, but highly, highly requested video right here. Closet tour, man. Me and Logan. We're gonna knock it out today. And uh, yeah, man, should be good. We got a lot of heat. Got a lot of stuff to get into. Um, sorry for the full day of the shop fams. We're gonna replace this week's full day of the shop with this video. Hope that's okay. We're like on a probably a year streak with the 48 the shop so i think you guys will live <laughs> um but yeah man should be good we're gonna do logan's closet first um so yeah man hey take it away what are we doing are we doing outerwear first or, yeah let's do outerwear first all right yeah let's get let's get into it so this is my closet welcome to a day in my life <laughs> uh so I, every morning i come here i'm like what am i gonna wear today very so realistic here we have all the vault shirts some of them i lose some of them sometimes all the vultures hung up. Uh, got my pants. Uh, obviously, I wear my suits and pants all the time. Uh, some outerwear. My Dallas Mavs screw neck. Go Mavs, man. We're, we're winning it all this year, man. Got a little Carhartt crew neck right here. Uh, NYU crew neck. Uh, my girlfriend goes to this school. I just went to New York, so uh, shout out NYU. Uh, Carhartt hoodie. I've had this one for a while. Some center swooshes, you know. You the damn fucking deal, dude, right? Some heat. Of course. Olive. Got olive, gray, and black. And then a Stussy hoodie, of course. Vintage. Don't get fucking twisted. Uh, shout out Daniel. He got that for you? No. Just, oh. I know how he, he, it's got to be vintage. You know? Oh. <laughs> this one is vintage, Daniel. Matthew bought this one, and he thought it was going to fit him, and it, like obviously didn't fit him at all. Hey, no two way. completely different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, do you want this for I paid it? I was like, sure, man, they'll, they'll fucking take it. So uh, actually, shout out to Matthew. So appreciate that, brother. And then uh, Yeezy Gap Dove hoodie. Damn. My favorite fucking hoodie. I love this hoodie. I wanted that one. Super great hoodie, man. If you guys don't have this hoodie, go get this hoodie. This hoodie is... Comfy. Oh, man, it's sick, man. Love that hoodie. Super thick, super comfy, like, really great hoodie. Uh, then this one's just like a Russell crew neck, like a Russell, like, track hoodie from the 90s. I wear this one sometimes, just like beat up. And I have this uh, this Carhartt uh, chore jacket from the 90s as well. We'll break this out sometimes. I don't wear it a lot, honestly, but you know, it's it's cool. It's cool to have. Me and Matthew got this at the flea market like a long time ago, like before the vault was a thing. We got this, like, had that for a while. And then this is a 70s like Letterman jacket. I've had this for a while, I thrifted this one. I guess, well, I guess I got an antique mall for like 20 bucks, but yeah, it's really sick, man. And it's funny, this is also before the vault. It has like the V's right here. Oh, shit. So it's kind of like full fucking circle <laughs> moment. So it's pretty dope whenever I wear it. Like, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. This guy was a fucking absolute baller. 1974 district champs. 77, 77 champs. Pretty fucking dope. And then that's pretty much it. This is like a little jean jacket. This is my dad's. Nice to have it here. Used to wear this all the time, you remember? <laughs> freshman year. I used to steal that all the time freshman year, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but I don't know. This is my dad's, so I just I just always have it. I don't know. I'm I'll probably never wear it, but yeah, I always have that. And then the fucking soccer jerseys, man. One of my favorites, man. Damn. Let's get into it. Starting off right. Damn. Damn, you got look it. At that. Get Eric in here. So you can see this fucking shit. <laughs> Soccer jersey time. He's a big, he's a big Ronaldo guy. What do you think of this guy? Mid, mid as hell. Yeah, he's a big hater. Fucking I respect dope. both, but Messi's my go, man. Messi's definitely my go. It's my grandson. And of course. <laughs> England. Come on, you lions. Lovely. Uh, shout out Saturday's football in New York. Stumble across that store. Best. If you're looking for football shirts, man. Kits football kits i think they have a location in la and they have one in new york i stumbled across it in new york and times square insane like crazy crazy selection so go there if you guys are in new york or if you're in la pretty sure there's locations in both but i got this one in new york frank lampard england jersey and i've had this one forever this is a like 99 2000 uh england kit with the umbro down the sleeve. Daniel gave me all of these. This is actually crazy, dude. This is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the fact that he gave you all of these. Daniel gave me all of these. Man City treble winners. Crazy. This one's really cool. Daniel just literally just gifted me all these. And then we have a Pato 
Brazil kit. Super fucking dope. I thought lyrics. Yeah, I like it better on here. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and then Barcelona. I grew up a big, big Barcelona fan. I grew up a Messi fan, so of course I grew up a Barcelona fan. And that MSN trio, man, just nostalgic. They only have one Champions League, by the way. <laughs> crazy, crazy, only crazy one. era. But what fucking players, am I right? <laughs> so this one's like really special to me. Huge shout out to Danny once again for all of these. Chelsea, I was a big Chelsea fan because Christian Pulisic, obviously the American, he How's played that? there, won Champions League there. Big, big fan. And How's Eden that? Hazard, I was a big fan of Hazard as well. So, kind of made me a Chelsea fan for a while. Of course he left. And four line, Inter Milan jersey. Milan. Shout out Daniel, man, for the heat, Milan. crazy. He did not have to do that. So again, huge shout out to Daniel. And then of course, the man. The man himself, Captain fucking America. You better give the right <laughs> shout out on that one. Shout out Vanessa and Matthew, man. I guess shout out Vanessa technically, yeah, but just Vanessa, so. Matthew kind of plugged me in. LeBron James. So, uh, huge shout out to Vanessa. Really dope. So, when the World Cup comes to the US, you best believe I'll be wearing this. What year does it come? 2026. 2026. 2026. Dallas. I will be there at AT Stadium wearing that. We're all going to be there. And then I thrifted this one. I kind of just play soccer in this one, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You thrifted that? Yeah, remember we thifted it. Remember oh, yeah, we ripped yeah, the price yeah, tag yeah, off. Yeah. I'm like, there's no price on this. And then they gave it to us for five dollars. This was like twenty dollars. I ripped the tag off. <laughs> Dude. And I was like, oh, there's no price on this. And they're like, oh, this it's pre vault days, guys. It was like, oh, it's like three dollars. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that was fucking dope. Everyone's guilty. Do you remember that? Yeah, like 2020 probably. Yeah, I was fucking dope. But yeah. Good shit, dude. Those are all the football kits. Didn't know you're a Red Devils guy. Hey, man. I respect all. I respect all teams, man. He loves football. I love ball. I love ball, man. I really do. Hey, yo. I love watching. It's a beautiful game. <laughs> so, some pants. Uh, of course, we get the Stussy. The, these are the black ones. Stussy Nyko pants. And then, I have these, like, uh, I've worn these in a couple of videos. These olive Nike track pants. Just super comfortable. Just, like, cozy. Really baggy. Mid. They fit really good. So, I'll really wear them. Well. <laughs> And then some more Susie Nyko pants. As you can see, these are pretty fucking worn and faded. But yeah. they come like a gray though. They're not like straight black. You can tell these are different. This is like a I don't even know what the I think it's like a wash black or something. And these are just like black. They got a little brown from them. So yeah, rust. <laughs> Dude, I, my like that too. I'm wearing right now. The OG 107s. <laughs> Used to wear these all fucked on. The army green. <laughs> if you're an OG Vault fan, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been wearing these for a long time. This is like Vietnam War era. Like, that's how old these are. These are like True 60s, vintage. 60s, 70s. I used to bust, it, bust those out all the time. And then... Some more Nike track pants. I've just had these forever. I don't really wear them, but I've had them forever. I'll bust them out every now and then. Brown car heart pants. I want you to wear those Great more. pair of car hearts. I want you to wear them more. Had these forever. Got these at the flea market a long time ago, but yeah, I wear these all the time. Great pair. World War II trousers, cargos. Those are sick too, man. Yeah, yeah these are really dope. dope. These are from World War II. These are really fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are really cool. If you know, I've worn these a lot too. I'm sure you've seen the vlog. That's it for the pants, man. What the jerseys? That's World it. War III on the way. Where you went through the jerseys? What about those jerseys? Oh, these? Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Yo, you want to see these? I can show you. I ever wear those casually. I mean, I, I, wore the, hey, I wore this one last night. If you know, you know. <laughs> that looks huge. What size is that? Large. Oh. It's a large. Yeah, I wore this puppy well, last night. Bad. Michael Thomas, you guys don't know. Big, big, Michael big, Flint, right? big, yeah. big Saints fan. Well, I've been a Saints fan for fucking 21 years, man, of my life. This is how you fucking know right here. <laughs> Bussy's out for game day every now and again. So, uh, getting into the vintage tees. As you can see, I got a couple options for vintage tees. Um, I actually have one that I'm wearing right now, so I'll show that one first. So you guys don't know. You've seen it before in the vlogs. What about the vault hoodie? Oh, and the vault hoodie. <laughs> so that's also essential during the winter. So starting off fucking right, man. One of my fucking grails, my vintage tee collection. Really love this one. Uh, shout out locals are cool. I bought uh, this off him a while back. 
for a decent price, to be fair. What's your favorite though? Like three. I really want that one. Yeah, so that was really good. I love this one. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this one a, a ton. I three hundred. Yeah, I wear this all, one all the time. Three hundred, right? Oh yeah, three hundred. Keep working. Like, Sorry, yeah, three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three hundred. Yeah. Another one from Old Coles are cool. Shout out to him. Damn. Uh, banger, man. Yeah, absolute fucking banger. Do you have that one? I do. Yeah, I think Matthew does have this one. Copy I do have this one. one actually. But, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> banger, man. Another banger. Love this shirt. Wear this one a lot. I'm sure you guys have seen it as well. Bulls tee. Crazy Bulls tee right here. Just, uh, you know, your typical fucking Bulls tee, man. Love this one. Big graphic. 1997. Really cool. On the changes tag. Funny story about this one. Uh, I got this one at Trader's Village. Oh, yeah. Back before the last dance and before the 90s bulls were popping like they are now for like $20 and this is literally like a $200 tee now. It's insane. It's crazy. So crazy. Last dance, the last dance effect was real, man. It was. It's actually crazy. A lot of bulls tees went up like crazy. And then it's TC World Cup tee. You're going to see a lot of fun TC tees, so just be fucking ready. It's probably like half of the collection. <laughs> That's probably one of my so, favorite ones you have. Yeah. Oh, Put Matthew on this one as well. I got this one. Like, a, I want to say a couple months before the World Cup. Yeah, I think it might have been like a couple weeks. So, yeah, this one's really, really cool. I really like this one. I, I wear this one. First time you wore that in the vlog, a lot of people were trying to buy it off of it. Yeah, yeah I know. A lot of people, people, every time I wear this, I get questions that. This is probably the most asked about shirt every time I wear it out of all my shirts. Like, for sure. The color is just gas on it, man. Yeah. So, I would be awesome for you, Eric, honestly. Okay. Buy that size. Don't you think? Really yeah. do I off you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the only rap Bulls rap tees I really want. I really want that one. Chicago Bulls rap tees. Shout out Victor fucking Nuncio, man. Shout out the guy. <laughs> really great prize from him. I Rare. paid like, I think I paid like 200 or like 220 or something. Cause that one's so good, man. Yeah, so this is a really, really good one. I love this one. We'll never be leaving the collection for sure. That's the best rap tee in my opinion. Yeah, I really like this one. Front and back graphics are just not like so good. You get all the, you got the big fucking trio on the back, Pippin. Jordan and Rodman. Really, really crazy, crazy tee. Just amazing tee, man. Holy shit. Smashing Pumpkins. Kid Cudi wore this one. And it, I think it drove up the price like fucking crazy. Mission to Mars tee. I don't think I've ever seen you wear that one. I wear it sometimes. This one's just like really expensive, so I don't like to wear it a lot. But this one, yeah, this one goes for a lot, man. What's it worth? It's like six or seven hundred dollars. Really? Yeah, it's a really expensive tee. I paid like four. Damn. That one's really tough. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh, really dope team, man. Really, really dope. I also don't really like the way it fits me sometimes, honestly. But yeah, I, do, I love this team. Will never be for sale. And then this one, I actually thrifted this one. You'll see a couple of these I thrifted in here. But uh, yeah, this one, I really like this one, man. One of my best thrift finds ever, for sure. Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication tea. Really, really dope. Oh, hi. What okay. the fuck are you doing here? I <laughs> <laughs> just had a fucking random Goodwill in Arlington. I found it and yeah, I was really fucking pumped. So, I'll we'll never be selling thing. this one. This one's just nostalgic now. Just that was crazy. Sentimental. Text. Yeah, I know. I was pumped, dude. <laughs> I, was so, I was so pumped. This one. Hey, new vault teeth inspired it for sure yeah i've been looking at this shirt for a while i got this one uh, not too long ago just off ebay yeah uh yeah man i love this shirt i wear this i, I wore this one i brought this one to new york i wore it there a lot really dope team man love this one apple the power to be your best just be your best man thanks could even put that on the merch honestly that would be dope and then this one, this one I did thrift, I guess. I got an antique mall. I paid like ten dollars. Yeah, like ten, like ten dollars. Yeah. I, Shit. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy, man. I really like this. This is probably my favorite team my collection. Um, I'll never sell it ever, really ever. Yeah, I thrifted this one with another Susie T. You'll see, and that one I paid even less. I paid, I think I paid like five bucks for the other one. I think it was like. Literally like 17 for both. Yeah, it was nothing, dude. That one's yeah. tagged at 12, and that one's tagged at like 6. Yeah. As you can see, I got a lot of fucking wear out of this one. The fade on this one is crazy. 
you can see like the old color right here like that's the color it's supposed to be and this is the color it is <laughs> so yeah this one is sick man i wear this one a lot probably one of my favorite tees in my collection really dope tee the wear on it and everything will never be for sale ever donnie darko i think i said it in the pod one of my favorite movies of all time this and like american psycho just one of my favorite movies ever great classic movie if you guys haven't seen it, what the fuck are you doing? Go see it. Uh, yeah, great tea, man. This is probably like the newest tea I have in my collection. This is probably like 2002, 2001 or something. I think it's 2000. Yeah, sure. but this is probably like the newest one in my collection. So you probably won't see, oh, or the Blink-182. We'll get into that. But yeah, really dope tea, man. Beatles tea. Nothing crazy about this one. Just. Who doesn't love the fucking Beatles, man? Some light. Tell good, me. good tea for the Shans. I brought this one to New York, and uh, I wore it to... Because John Lennon got shot in New York, I went to go see where he got shot, and I wore this one to go see it. And it was his birthday that day, too. So there was like a big like memorial thing for him there. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it was just a cool experience. Fond memory in this tea. And then this one, I've had this one forever. This might be one of the oldest tees I have like in my collection. This one has a lot of wear on it as well, you can see. This one kind of needs an OxyClean, honestly. But yeah, man. Not much to say, just a Bulls tee. Really dope Bulls tee. I've had this one for a long time. And then uh, shout my guy, Matt, right there. Just gifted it to me. Just say, hey, man. You can just have it. Rare. Rare occurrence for Matt Aguilera. <laughs> But yeah, it's got the number three on the back. That was his soccer number, so it was just like... <laughs> oh, <what's it? laughs> I was 11. Uh, orange Ryan. three. Honestly, it was like Neymar. Because he was, he was 11 at Barcelona, so I was like... Okay, really was, okay bro. Okay. How old is he? <laughs> but yeah, this one's cool. This is like... Tough, honestly, yeah. Man. I like the fade on it and everything. I don't know if it was meant to be like this kind of fade, or if it's just faded. It's I don't faded. know. But yeah. Baby really cool tea, man. Shout out Matt, for real. Really, really dope tea. Uh, bought this online. Uh, really dope tea, man. It's got the like little woodcut uh, dragon. It's got the little dragon on the back. It's a dope Stussy tea, man. Dang. Really like this one. Uh, shout out Metropolis NYC. The best finish store in New York, 100%. If you're in New York, go see Metropolis. The craziest finish selection I've ever seen in my life. Really just straight heat on the walls, like, thousand dollar tees like just everywhere just hanging up on the wall really 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 dope store uh, i got this one there uh yeah i'm in 2001 this is probably like the newest tee i have in my collection but it's really really dope really really dope and then this one was the one i was talking about earlier that i thrifted with that one it's another stussy tee stussy international really sick tee i almost didn't get this one remember matthew yeah, and we like we like I was like I don't know if I no we drove one. away and we went back for it. Oh, yeah. so we, we literally we left. left. We left. We got that, that was... one. And we went back. This was before Stussy was like serious. This is dude. This is like a long time ago. Well, this was like it wasn't even just that. It was more back when we were literally like broke. Like we had to like seriously pick and choose like what we before, were getting. Like, this was like pre-COVID. Yeah, this is like this yeah high school shit. Ago. But I went and I got them. I've had them for this long. So really, really fucking glad I went back for this one because I actually I actually do. Yeah, I really like this one. This is a really I've never seen this one anywhere. You still find many like good yellow shirts. So yeah, I paid seven seven bucks for this one, I think. Damn. Yeah, this one's really, really dope. I like the wear on it and everything. Some people don't like like little rips and stuff on it. I like I like the wear on them. Depends on the T for me. I don't know. If you can overdo it obviously, but like little like little holes I can deal with. So got another Stussy T. I think we've got a lot of Stussy T's coming up, so get ready. Uh, another Stussy T. Not much to say about this one. I'm sure you guys have seen this one in the vlogs. It's got the, the got the little uh, crooked crown. I'm pretty sure I've worn it with the pistachios. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Not much to say. Just great Stussy T, man. Vintage Stussy T on the little cream tag right there. I'll show you. Straight from fucking Ukraine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> shout out to that fucking guy. Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> That's just, that situation's crazy over there. Had to get it for that photo, you guys. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's like you the guys most know. Ever. This was made for me. <laughs> yeah. Right, Sean Stussy put pen to fucking paper and said, "This is <laughs> this is gonna be for Logan. He's gonna love this. He knew it." Yeah, like literally. 
You guys know I'm a big Saints fan, so this is our fucking Fleur de Lis logo, man. This is us. And my favorite brand. Come on, man. Made for me. And I think this one came from, like, uh, he's from Singapore. Pretty good. Singapore. And he, like, dropped a bunch of crazy CCs and I saw that one. And he wouldn't ship the U.S., so I had to message him to get him to ship it to me, and he did. Thank God. So shout out to that guy. Uh, this one, the one Matthew copied me on. We've had this one for a while. I just found this one online. Uh, yeah, man, it's a dope brown CCT. I wear this one a lot. It can pull off a lot of fits of just brown, you know, brown and black. Got the little interlocking S right here. Also got the rug version. And then this one, Brother. Dennis Rodman, Walk on the Wild Side T. Uh, what is it, 1997. Really dope tea, man. This one actually came with a book. He like shipped me a book with it. It's like a Dennis Rodman book. I have it out there, should I get it? Sure. No. So he shipped it with this book too. It was like Dennis Rodman book. I haven't read it or anything, but. Read it now. Oh, cool little piece. <laughs> Put it on display somewhere, somewhere in the apartment, I'm sure. But yeah, man, uh, really cool tea. Been wanting a, like a good like Rodman tea for a while, so I got one. Uh, not too long ago, probably like a couple months ago. All right, USA. Dream Team T. Who's one of the fucking Dream Team, man? Uh, nice little uh, character graphic on there. And it's got a little back kit as well. Really dope. 1992 USA Dream Team. And this one, uh, I got this one online as well a while ago. Stussy Knowledge is King T. Once again, I'm sure you guys have seen me wear these in the vlogs. Uh, yeah, not much to say, man. I think I got this from a shop in Dallas a while ago like a couple years ago, and I've had it ever since. Uh, dope. I think Travis wore this one, actually. Pretty sure I've seen him wear this one. Uh, yeah, just all over print. Eagle, Harley Davidson tee. Crazy tee. Really, really dope tee. Uh, yeah, man, I've gotten a lot of wear out of this one. I love this one. Really dope tee. I bought this one right after we first opened the first vault. This was the first thing I bought. Oh, yeah. And fucking dope. Boy, am I glad I fucking did. Really dope Pearl Jam tee. Super dope. Got the little uh, tour dates on the back and everything. Really fucking dope tee, man. And that's gonna do it for the vintage tees, man. That's that's about it for me. Over to my crib. <laughs> Just for everyone that's asking. Um, Sneer collection videos coming in December. We've been getting a ton of questions about that. We're doing a collection video in December. We did it last December, so we'll do it in a full year from the last one. Just so y'all know. I guess. Gonna see a, a lot of Stussy. A lot. Like, probably double what Logan, like a lot, dude. Like, like an absurd amount. Yeah, just a little bit ridiculous. I'm just saying right now. Um, Stussy, Shit, vintage. Logan. This is about like a, this is like an early 2000s vintage hoodie. Um, really cool. Stussy. Of course. Stussy. Never seen you wear that one. What? I've never seen you wear that one. Yeah, I wore this for the first pod. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I wear this a lot. This is I really like this one that has like really nice like distressing on the thing. This one's a nineties one. This one's so good. This one fits really nice too. Can I have it? Hell no. I love that hoodie, dude. Uh Grace Center Swoosh. Pretty sure Logan has that. You're gonna see a lot of similar things this guy has too. We have very similar styles, so before y'all start cooking us in the comments. Um, <laughs> just copied me, just know I had it first. <laughs> yeah, I copy Logan for sure. Uh, Stussy hoodie, again. Uh, this is a also an early 2000s one, early 2000s tag, but great tee right here. Um, good one for the born and raised for sure. Going for the born and raised. Shout out Danny, uh, gray and black BOGO. He sold me this for a steal, man, I'm not gonna lie. I think he sold me this for like a bill, so yeah. <laughs> Crazy, man. Thank you, Daniel. I wear this all the time. I've worn it like three times since it got a little chilly. Shout out Daniel once again. Doom hoodie, Supreme, the from the newest collab. Back hit's amazing. Love this hoodie. Um, Yeezy Gap. Logan has this one, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Uh, Dove on the back. Y'all just saw it on Logan's. Um, black Yeezy Gap hoodie. Just a black hoodie. Center swoosh black hoodie. Uh, this is 90s, of course, a little orange tag. Beautiful. Uh, Arky. Uh, this is the. What is this puffy one called, Logan? The Arcteryx jacket? 
Adam. The Adam jacket. Yeah, this is the Adam jacket. Um, this is an essential when it gets chilly, man. I love this hoodie so much. Um, Supreme Bogo, just black on black. I think this is fall, winter, 21. Yeah, 21. Uh, just Bogo, man. These Bogos are like really sentimental to me because when me and Logan were growing up in this stuff, this is stuff we never thought we would be able to afford. <laughs> so now that the fact they're like 200, 300 bucks, I'm getting the ones I like because literally just like just out of pure sentimental value. Like I love this. So I've got a few Bogos in here. I got that inner hype beast in me, that inner like 2016 hype beast in me, man. I, you know, it's a special time for me, like for real. Um, another Bogo right here. This is the inside out one also from Daniel. Um, just a really nice like sage colorway. It's pretty cool. Daniel's closet is dope. Yeah, <laughs> he sells me a lot of Supreme, dude. It was dope. <laughs> uh, crazy, like beat up. Yeah. Um, all of center swoosh. I like the distressing. I think it looks sick. Um, nine 90s again. This is it, like extremely, extremely rare colorway. This goes for a lot of money. It's super rare. I have it. What'd you pay for this? Like two or two fifty. Yeah, I think I paid two for this one too. Um, Pretty crazy that they, they they go for this, but I could literally do. I could probably we could literally sell these for like four. Yeah, the, they go for a lot of money, dude. Like a lot. Um, Logan sold me this one. We couldn't figure out if it was modern or old. It was modern. I think it's modern. Probably early two thousands. Just good hoodie, good colorway, not bad. Um, olive, like sage. Nah, this is like a dark olive. Um, Arky. This is like the like windbreaker one, like the actual like Gore-Tex material. Um, this one's pretty crazy. I got this one off an, an off the back at Trader's Village. Um, some kid was walking around with it. This one goes for a crazy guap too. Travis wore this one and like kind of started the whole center swoosh hype with this one right here. Um, and the kid was walking around. And I was like, how much do you want for that, bro? He's like, throw me an offer. I said 40 bucks. He's like, sure. Forty dollars for this. Again, this is literally like a four hundred dollar hoodie. Holy shit! As I would never pay that ever. I would never pay that for this, but it's literally like a four hundred dollar hoodie. So you never know. Ask. Hey. You never. Never heard shoot your shot, right? Um, this is the one I was wearing earlier. I took it off so I could show it. Uh, this is a cream tag. Um, so this is early '90s Stussy hoodie. One of my favorite hoodies in my collection. Um, just an insanely beautiful colorway, I think. Um, 1997. Brown box logo crew neck. Um, you don't see vintage Sup Supreme too often. Um, like I said, this is from 97. It almost looks fake just because the embroidery looks so different. Um, and then the tag is pretty different too. It's like USA on the bottom right here, but that's how you know if it's from the 90s, obviously. Um, but it's pretty cool. Just a, again, really good color. I, I think this is super tough. Um, Stussy hoodie brown. Low key doesn't really fit me. If anyone wants dimensions on this one is like actually interested, um, it's not going to be anything less than 150. So just be ready whenever you DM me. It's a really good hoodie. It's again on a 90s tag. So um, just be ready for that if you guys want this one. Another Arky ja uh, jacket. I got this one for a pretty good steal. So I picked it up. It's not my favorite colorway in the world, but for what I paid, I couldn't really pass it up. I think he gave this to me for like 120. And retail on these jackets is like $400. So not bad. yeah, <laughs> had to grab that. Um, again, another 90s stew. This is definitely 90s um, the, on the black tag. One of my favorite hoodies. Um, you got that small crown logo right here and then you get the big crown logo on the back. It's like a navy, sick, sick hoodie. Uh, stew C CPFM hoodie, beautiful. Um, only thing I hate about this stupid puff print is it cracks really bad. I haven't, I haven't even washed this. This is literally just from wearing it. it sucks, but happens. Another Y2K Stussy hoodie, really dope. LA um, yeah not much more needs to be said really dope <laughs> and then this is like the OG Yeezy Gap hoodie not really it's not in the official Gap collab but it was the this was like I think this was his, during his 2020 campaign right something like that when he did the president shit <laughs> he dropped this and then it says uh, has like yay 24 on yeah 2020 vision hoodie the best quality hoodie I've ever felt in my life this thing is nuts Better feel than, it, feel better, it. Better than the Yeezy Gap. Feel it. Oh, but way better, dude. Inside? Just feel it. Just feel all of it. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. It's like way thicker. It's insane. I hate it. 
Okay. Well, yeah, it's it's a crazy quality hoodie. I guess we'll just knock out the hats real quick. These are all my hats. Stussy, 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 Stussy. Vault, Vault, Vault. And behind. It's the dog up there. It's my puppy. Um, these are my Arcteryx hats. I got these all from REI. Shout out REI. The sage black and that blue one I wear pretty often. Um, and then I have a couple beanies back here too. I don't know if y'all care to see this, but some beanies for when it gets like actually cold. Still a little, you know. A little early. It's like those 50 degree mornings and those like 80 degree afternoons. So still can't really wear beanies. I was saying this earlier, man. Me and Logan have a, a decent option, a plethora when it comes to pants. But once you get these Stussy Nyko trousers, man, choice, you, you don't look back. Insanely comfortable, super versatile. Like, it's just, it's hard to wear anything else once you have these. So, you already know I have every colorway in these white, green, black, and then like this gray. Um, but yeah, I mean, once you get these, you like really don't wear anything else because these are the best pants I've ever owned, like by far. Um, but yeah, I have some some more Stussy Cargos right here. This is a vintage pair of Nike. Uh, so this is a vintage pair of North Face Cargos. Some more Stussy Cargos. Some Levi's. Um, some Supreme Denim. Stussy wrinkle pants. And then some shorts. These are vault shorts, I think. Yeah, vault shorts. And then these are Stussy shorts. Wear these during the summer. I have another pair of A-ball shorts somewhere around here, but yeah. Y'all don't need to see them. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty beat, too. Um, this is my vault section right here. Hoodie, Apple tea, just one pair of tea, the whole catalog, you know what I mean? Gotta have it. I created it, you know what I mean? So, kinda gotta have it. I'm gonna do the hype tees first. I'm not really hype, but like the modern brands first, and then we'll do the vintage, because the vintage is the big one. Um, Utopia tour, just went, both nights, movie. Had to grab one of the tees. Um, I would really never wear this Travis Scott merch, but I always get it just for sentimental value because I like remembering and I want to like give this to my kids one day. I think that'll be really cool because one day this will be vintage and it'll be like probably a grail, right? Probably will. <laughs> so I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, Stussy Nike tee. This is like from the one of their first tees that they did. Um, probably in like 2020. Stussy Born to Race tee. Gas. Gave this one. Hooked my boy up Raul on this one. I had to keep one as myself. These are really dope. Um, Pretty crazy. This one's just like tucked away in there, but this is an insane grill. The fuck? This is not just a Supreme box logo. This is the Sopranos tee. Um, if you know, you know, man. This is like one of my biggest mistakes financially. <laughs> <laughs> I really should not have bought that, but I did. Um, it's sick, but it costs way too much money. Super dope, but yeah, it costs way too much money. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. It was a good month at the vault. Uh, Supreme. Kurt Cobain tee, black. Um, shout out my boy Javi for that one. Stussy Bulldog tee. <laughs> Astro. It's really stupid. I bought this too. I don't know why I bought this, but. Just for Astro. Yeah, literally. I have Bulldog. I like Stussy. Why not, right? Um, Stussy Nike tee. Fuck yeah. Pretty sick, right? You kidding? Eric has this one. This is the eight ball one. Would you look at that? Oh. 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 We're in it tonight. Whoa. It's your best shirt ever, dude. Great back hit, love the shirt. Um, okay, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Supreme Kurt, uh, Sage T. I like this one a little better than the black one. Um, dude, these are like 50 bucks. Really? Yeah. I need one. They're literally $50. I actually need one. All of the colors are like 50, 60 bucks. Love you, good one. I like it a lot. Um, Stussy New York T, I got this in New York. Literally just sentimental. I literally never wear it, but <laughs> a lot of this stuff's just sentimental to me. Uh, tonal box logo. I need to sell this. I'm going to put this in this pile right here because I'm selling that. I do not wear that ever. <laughs> I'm never going to. I don't know why I have that. I got this at Astroworld 2021. Um, once Ooh, again, man. sentimental. Ooh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, this, I got this. This is the OG Astroworld T. In my opinion, the best Astroworld T. Pretty fucking dope. Sick. So it's got that, the back kit. Um, I never wear this once again, but it's really cool. A little sus on the inside, but uh, it's got a, it's actually reversible. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo. it's kind of crazy. Uh, it's got Jesus on it and then that on the back. Stop trying to be God. It's a dope tee, man. It's, it's a cool tee, right? It's cool, that's reversible. Yeah, that's reversible, that's what I'm saying. I think it's by far the best Astro World tee. Um, so I, again, I just have it for sentimental value. I 
It'll be grill. It really will, man. Yeah. I think so. I like the other side better. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I have it for this side. I like this side a lot. Yeah. Um, and then I got this when I went to see the uh, Circus Maximus live in, in theaters. So this doesn't even fit me. So I just have it for, once again, sentimental value. I like it. Um, a lot of good financial decisions here. Uh, not really. <laughs> so that's all the hype. Um, I've got three piles right here, to get three different piles. Good. I guess we'll start with my miscellaneous. This is all vintage stuff. We'll start with my miscellaneous stuff right here. I've got miscellaneous, Stussy, it's my biggest pile, it's my Stussy, and then uh, these are all my band tees. Um, but yeah, miscellaneous, we'll start off with this LPU, actually, my most recent pickup, Sopranos. Probably my most, my most modern tee in the vintage, too. Uh, Johnny Knoxville, Jackass tee, this is gas. I love this shirt, it fits me perfect. Um, this one's 99, I believe, or 98. This one cost me a pretty penny, I really like it, though. It's uh, really, really sick. I think I paid, like, 180 bucks for that, but I definitely would do that over again. Um, I don't have much Harley in my collection, but this is like one of my favorite Harley tees. Chrome seed chrome tee. Uh, Kanye wore this one. Grail. Um, pretty dope tee. Y'all saw this in Logan's collection. Um, Darnie Darko tee. He copied me and got this one. I, watched, I saw the movie first. I don't know about that, but yeah, great, great. Uh, I've watched that movie. I've been watching that movie for years. Donnie Darko T, great. What is it? You said 2000? Like it's 2000. like 2001. Um, I got this shirt for a steal, man. This is like probably a four to five hundred dollar shirt. I think I paid like 150 for this. This is this is one of my this is one of my favorite shirts in my entire collection. It's probably the top three. Lithuania T. Do you have the, no you don't. The, the Lithuania T, all around, 1992. A little crazy for me, but uh, I like crazy sometimes, right? <laughs> um, I don't have too many Bulls tees, but this one's just like too sick to sell. It's the I'm Back Cyborg T. He's like a cyborg, it's really, really cool. Really dope, I, I really like that. I mean, it doesn't fit me the best, but I think it's pretty sick. Logan has this one, um, just a classic character caricature tee, um, 93, when they first got their first three-peat, um, first three-peat, their, fir their first, this is their third championship, um, so yeah, pretty dope, 19 1993 championship, um, another Robin tee, this one's really sick, I wear this one a lot, fits me really good. Yeah, really sick. I love the shirt. Uh, this one's really random, but it actually goes for a lot of money. Um, this one, my dad thrifted for this for me. It's a 90s Nike tee with like the spell out embroidery, and it's like this tan color. These go for a lot. This like this uh, spell out right here. Hoodies of this go for like hundreds, man. I don't know. I've never seen a tee of it, so I don't know. It's probably like an $150 tee, but really, really, really cool. I, li I really like that shirt. Really never wear it, but... I paid nothing for it, so kind of just want to have it. My band tees, again, another pretty recent pickup. This Cure vintage tee. I'm a huge Cure fan. Um, I've actually been to the concert when I was a kid with my dad. So crazy ass tee, though. Crazy ass fade. Pearl Jam tee. Logan has this one. This is the Puppets tee in the like topaz colorway. Um, Y'all just saw it a second ago. This is just a bigger size. Nothing different. Um, and then the white version of it too. I have both. The White version. This one has a little bit of a different back hit though. It's like a melting ice cube on the back. Is that a melting ice cube? No, it's, it's a, a toaster. toaster. What the hell? A little Manson tee. I got it for a steal. It's a bootleg, right? No. It looks like a bootleg. What are you talking about? This is OG, oh. brother. Single single on the stitch. Winter, it's a Winterland tag. It's 96. Not a big Marilyn Manson fan, personally, honestly. But I just like the shirt a lot. Uh, I like the colors. Poser. No, I definitely am a poser for Manson. I really don't. I, I'm not. He's a little too crazy for me, but I just like the shirt. <laughs> Love Pink Floyd. I'm a big Pink Floyd tee. This is actually my... Um, Pink Floyd was my first concert ever. I was like 10. Well, my dad, so. Big Pink Floyd guy. Um, this is by far my favorite Pink Floyd tee. This is the Division Bells tee. I love this one. Um, you got the 1994 hit on the back. And one of my favorite tags, Brockham. Gotta love that. Um, this shirt fits me like great. I love the shirt. 
Again, really good shirt for the Travis SBs. Fit matches really well. My favorite band, Green Day. And my top three favorite albums of all time, Dookie. <laughs> I love this album, man. Pretty crazy T is 94 promo uh, T for the for the album. Um, this one's actually somewhat affordable. I mean, I don't know about affordable, but it's not. Most Dookie T's are like 250 to 300 plus. So this one's like on the cheaper end. You can find this one for like 80 to 100. Um, so I think this is a pretty cool tee. I don't have too much like green, so I thought this one was pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I paid 100 bucks for this, so pretty solid. Uh, this one I got at SneakerCon. What year was that? 2021? Last year. 2022? Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite shirts in my collection. This is like, I had been looking at this forever. And uh, again, it's on a Brockham. One of my favorite tags, like I said. Um, this is the front graphic. It's got like a paint splatter on it, but I kind of like it. Gives us some character. The graphic is nuts, man. It's just nuts. Um, and then the back hit. It's got the track list, obviously. Again, top three favorite album for me of all time. Um, Beastie Boys T. Big Beastie Boys fan as, as well. Um, it's a pretty simple T. Brown, orange. This is the perfect shirt for the Oompas. Um, so, yeah, I, like, I pretty much got this one for the Oompas. Um... <laughs> Next up, again, Logan has this one as well. The Wild Oats tee. The uh, Insomnia. The, this is not one of my favorite Green Day albums. There's a couple good ones on there, but it's okay. Like, Gang Stick Breath is good. That's really, I don't like, I really don't like much on this album, honestly, man. That's really it. But I, I was really good at playing uh, Gang Stink, Stink Breath on the drums. So, <laughs> a little fun fact. Uh, got the track list on the back as, uh, as well. Um, yeah, sick tee. The graphics just too too dope on this one not to have it. Kind of gives me like a rap tee vibe, like with all their faces on it. Green Day Nimrod tee. Again, not my favorite album, but I love Green Day, and I thought the graphic on this was pretty cool. The back graphics probably the best part. Now my main thing, my Stussy. I've grown up with Stussy my whole life. Um, my dad has had Stussy since the '90s. Uh, He's given me tees out of his personal collection. And um, yeah, man, I, I love Stussy. I've been wearing it my whole life. Logan has this one, uh, feeling eerie tee. Mine's a lot crispier, um, <laughs> a lot crispier, but honestly, I kind of like the fade on Logan. So, I mean, I don't know, um, but really sick tee. Um, this is probably my favorite vintage tag right here. This uh, Stussy vintage tag with the, uh, have a good, Vibe, live clean. Love this, love this tag right here, man. When I when I see that, I know it's about to be a good tee. So and a good vibe. Yeah, and a good vibe. The brown S link on the front, and then it's got the small Stussy on the back. Um, on that cream tag, this one fits me really good. I just got this one like a couple weeks ago, and I've been wearing the hell out of it. I really like that. God, I say everything is my fucking favorite, but I love this shirt. Like this is one of my favorite shirts. Um, the Stussy uh, race car tee, again on that black tag. My favorite tag. Uh, the color on this is just nuts. I, I love this shirt. I really love this shirt and it fits me like perfect. Like if I had to pick a few tees out of my entire collection, if my house is burning, this would be one of the ones I'd grab. I love this shirt so much. The Stussy like crown logo tee. Um, it's got the big hit on the back. I get this one like 2019, dude. I've had this one for a while. Like pre-COVID, I got this. Bowling pin Stussy tee. Insane color. I just thought it was a unique color, so I grabbed it. Um, and then it's got the big bowling pin on the back. This one's really good for the orange lobsters. You have the hoodie version of this. Mm-hmm. Right? I do. I do. This is literally the same tee, or the same graphic Logan has, but in the hoodie version. That graphic is so dope. This one I don't wear too often. It's pretty dope. I don't know why I don't wear it. It's pretty sick. I don't know why I don't wear it, but... You got the royal goods on the back, and then um, same thing on the front. A lot of these juicy teasers are just gonna have the small graphic on the front, and then the big graphic on the back. Um, but a beautiful fade, and like Logan was talking about earlier, I know a lot of people don't like this, but like this collar distressing is like beautiful to me. This one's really dope, dragon tee. This one's nuts, dude. This one's really cool. That's the back kit, and then this is the front. Just got the juicy on the front, but it's like this really nice faded like baby blue color. This one's sick, dude. This one's so sick. This one's really good for the linen, the linen fours that I wore today. Um, 
This was like one of my first vintage Stussy tees. I got this one in like 2018. I got this one a while ago, dude. Um, it's the big leagues tee. It's got the Stussy big leagues on the front with the, like the two baseball bats. This one I wear at the Dooms a lot. And then it's got the big S's on the on the back. This is a sick shirt, man. And this is like, this one's faded and like worn in like Logan's uh, feel and eerie tee because I've worn it so much. But it's got just a really, really good fade. And like really nice distressing throughout. Love the shirt. Uh, Stussy Beach Records. Um, tan tee, I say Beach Records because it's got a little hit on the back. But this one's pretty funny. I was... <laughs> so... This dude, I had this one on Grailed forever, dude, and I had offered him on my main account, I think 150, right? He had it listed for 200, and he like responded to me like all snarky, like hell no. I was like, okay, bro. And then he ended up dropping the price down to 150, and like never hit me back up. I think just kind of like out of pride. This happens a lot of the times, and <laughs> and then on the same like message thread, I said 100. <laughs> <laughs> he said, bro, you already offered me 150. I was like, 100 now? You already dropped the price? <laughs> you should have took my offer last time. And he's like, hell no. And I was like, okay. And then I went on my girl's account and I offered him 100 and he accepted it the same day. <laughs> so he literally just didn't want to give in to my shit, like literally. But he but he sold it to me for 100. I hope you're watching that. Fuck you. <laughs> um, but uh, then this other like mustard color one right here. Small hit on the back and then really cool hit on the, on the, why do I keep saying the back, the front and then the really like skull dope logo on the back. This one um, I got at the Stussy Archive store in LA. Um, my boy Victor was visiting and he went in for me and uh, scooped this one up for me. This one, uh, it's like that undefeated like olive colorway. It's got like the orange and black on the back. Super sick, super sick tee. I love this one. Um, this one I put Logan on, he copped his right after me, so, um... This guy's bold I'm just kidding, but, uh... on both those teeth. Yeah, I did copy him on this one. Um, but, yeah, he, I saw him get his tan one, I went out and looked for the tan one, because I, I couldn't find it anywhere, it's just sick. But I did find this black one. Pretty dope. And then this one... I love this shirt so much, but it really doesn't fit me at all. I'd probably sell this to Logan if you didn't have it already. You don't want this, it's like tan. Yours is white. It's fine. I don't need to with the same graphic. I, really <laughs> I might bring this one to the store. Um, or if anyone wants to hit me up on Instagram for this one, this is gonna cost you. I'm just letting you know now. This is like one of the best Stussy tees out there. And it's a super, super rare colorway. It's like that tan, like the color tan of Logan's World Cup tee. Is it calling my name, guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fit you, man. You can try it on. You can, you can definitely try it on. I don't know if it's gonna fit you though. Um, but if, if this doesn't fit Eric and he doesn't buy it, and if anyone wants it, I'm just letting you know now, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. It's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Just letting you know now. Um, this is a grail. Oh, like 40? <laughs> I don't know. I wish it costed 40. That'll do it for our closet tours, man. Let, let us know in the comments how you guys think we did on the closet tours. Did you guys like it? Uh, do you guys fuck with our drip, I guess? Um, this was a highly, highly, highly requested video. And we finally got it out for y'all. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too stagnant for y'all. Hope you guys liked it. But uh, we'll definitely see y'all next week for a full day at the shop. And uh, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Like half of you guys that watch this aren't subscribed. So what it's pretty heck? crazy. Yeah, man. What the heck? That's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> I think our ratio is like 51 to 49 or something like that that aren't subscribed. So guys, subscribe, man. We're Can you see if they're like recurring, like yeah, they're all, watchers yeah, too. Yeah, recording watchers, yeah. So like, guys, might as well subscribe if you're constantly watching the videos, right? Wow. Subscribe, man. We're trying to hit 10k by the end of the year. Come on. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all for full day at the shop episode 16. Later, guys.